So hello everyone, hope you are all doing well at this time. My name is Rianne and I currently serve on the Auckland Catholic Youth and Young Adults Ministry Team, also known as ACYM for short. Um, thanks for joining me today for breaking open today's gospel for the 20th Friday in Ordinary Time. We are also celebrating the feast day of St. Pius X, who is also known as the Pope of the Eucharist. Um, so happy feast day, um, especially to the parishioners at St. Pius X in Glen Innes. Uh, so I'm really excited about today's gospel. Um, it just means a whole lot to me and I'm pretty sure for many others as well. So let's not wait any longer and hear today's gospel read by my sister, Hoile Langi. The Gospel According to Matthew When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you so much, Langi. So today's Gospel is quite short, but the message is powerful nonetheless. Um, so today we hear Jesus is questioned by the Pharisees again, not to learn from him, sadly, but to test him. And I'm sure for many of us, we have come across the greatest commandment countless of times in our lives. But the beauty of hearing scripture and wisdom in general time and time again um, are the new things that we pick up on each time. And so over the years, especially this year, this passage has been a constant reminder for me of what it truly means to love and to be loved. So the first and greatest commandment that God um, wants us to do is to love him with all our heart, all our soul and all our mind because if we cannot truly love him that way, we can't truly love anyone else or anything else. Um, and God does want everything from us. He wants even the bits that we find so ugly and so shameful and so painful, um, things that we don't want others to know about us. God wants that too. He wants us for everything. Um, there was no clarification by Jesus on just giving God the good bits of us. God wants everything. And he wants us to lean on him and depend on him and to abide in him with every part of our body and every part of our lives. And so I know that would be quite challenging for many of us. Um, for myself, it's quite challenging. Um, but little by little, God will show you that by opening up and giving him our all, um, we would find healing and strength in him always. The second commandment that we hear um, is a follow-up from the first one. And Jesus states that it is similar, it is like the first commandment, which is to love our neighbors as ourselves. So God didn't just want us to love him and then hate everybody else, including ourselves. No, that would not make sense. Um, as Christians, we believe that God created all human beings, um, that each person on this planet is a daughter or son of God, and they are wonderfully and fearfully made in his image and likeness. Therefore, uh, if we do hate another, um, if we do hate ourselves, we would ultimately be hating God as well. So we will be hating him or we will be not loving him fully with everything. So you cannot love your neighbor, hate yourself. You cannot love yourself and hate your neighbor. And you can definitely not love yourself and your neighbor without loving God. For God is love. And I truly understand how difficult it might be, um, again, to open up your heart, mind and soul, especially if you are experiencing great pain and suffering. 
But do know that God's love is endless and holds no conditions. He just wants us to love him um, with everything. And by doing so, we can truly love our neighbors and ourselves. So I definitely encourage you all to read, pray, and reflect not only on this gospel, um, but also on 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 to 21, um, which elaborates a bit more about the greatest commandments and just a beautiful reminder of God being love and what it means to love. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, I pray that you guys all stay safe, take care of yourselves. And so far, so far, God bless.